Today we're looking at cellulite treatments with radio shockwave. Cellulite treatments appear in the literature quite often. We're going to have a look at the most common way in the literature cellulite treatments have been performed first. And to do that, initially, I'm going to set up a shockwave head, which is the 20mm deactor head. This is the one most commonly seen in the literature. It's a convex head. On the machine, settings can go anywhere from 1.6 bar right up beyond 3 bar. Remembering that with a 20mm head, you'll actually get more energy at 3 bar than if you were using a bigger and the more commonly used in practice head, the 35mm head. But anywhere above 3 bar is considered to be suitable for shockwave. The number of shocks you'll perform is dependent on the size of the area that you're going to be treating. You can't treat an area in one go, there's not a head big enough to do it. And so most people head for about 2,000 shocks per area. To give you an idea, that's 2,000 shocks to the back of the thigh, 2,000 shocks to the buttock, and on and on and on. So if you were doing the buttock and the thigh, you'd go up to 4,000 shocks. Most people agree going faster for cellulite treatment is the way to go. It's likely you'll get much more cavitation if you go faster and you won't go quite as deep in. So in this case, we're going to go up to 15 hertz, which is basically the minimum you'll see in the literature. We will be continuing with our demonstration of shockwave for cellulite with the 20mm deactor head. We're going to apply some gel to the back of the thigh and then we're going to go through the three different methods that people have used for uh, putting shockwave onto the back of the thigh for cellulite. Apply some gel. Grab the shockwave head, we'll just spread the gel out a little bit. Three main methods have been used for doing cellulite treatments onto the back of the thigh. The first method is a spot method. So you come onto a spot on the thigh. Start the shockwave. You leave the shockwave on the spot for 200 shots. And when you get to 200 shots, you stop, move to the next spot along, do another 200 shots. Stop, do the next spot, and on and on. The problem with this method we've found is if you do the spots, it's far too easy to keep doing the spots in the same place. It's actually quite difficult to fill in the gap. You can see spot, 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 gap, gap here, gap here. In between and what you end up doing is making lines along the back of the leg where the gaps are and the lines generally run across the back of the leg in a grid formation you then have to sort of fill in in between in different sessions doing the other spots and although this method has been used in the literature and scientifically may be very sound it's not practically the best way of doing shockwave onto the uh, back of the thigh for cellulite Probably a more popular method actually in practice in clinics is to do a version of cellulite massage whilst at the same time doing the shockwave. And in essence you would start at a point and work your way back towards the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes in this case are up towards the groin. So in essence what people will do is they'll sweep up with the shockwave on, switch off, sweep up again, 
off, sweep up again, off and on and on. So I'll give you, I'll show you as a demo. You put the shockwave on, sweep up, put the shockwave on, sweep up, put the shockwave on, sweep up, and on and on and on until you've completed the shocks. Probably the method we like the most is to do the snaking method. This method seems to give the most even results and is actually very practical in the real world. To do the snaking method, you imagine that you're going to follow a path in lines like a snake. So you come up and down in lines. Once you've done up and down in lines one way, you go across and do the lines the opposite way. This has the real advantage of going at every angle at each of the parts of the area you're treating. So in this case, the back of the thigh. And you can round in a snaking pattern. So we'll give you an example of that. You don't want to move the shockwave head too quickly as you're doing this. And on and on until you finish the treatment. The one thing I would say is if you have an area that's a particular problem and you want to treat that individual spot, sometimes a, a spot treatment is very appropriate. So you might find there's an area in the buttock where there's a particular dimple of cellulite, like here. What you can do is go onto that area, we'll bring some gel onto it, go onto that area and hit the area with a certain number of shots, say two to four hundred shots. But hit the area from various angles. That seems to break down individual areas very well. If you have a particularly tough area, especially if the person stands and clenches the muscles and you can see individual areas of cellulite particularly, that method seems to work quite well.